Hey football fans! Welcome back to Football News Centre. Today, we're diving into the upcoming match between Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. It's a clash of styles that could make for an exciting game, you see, Manchester United, under the management of Eric Ten Hag, has been struggling with conceding cutback goals all season long. They have the fourth worst record for open play shots conceded in the Premier League. Their defence has been mediocre, allowing opponents to manipulate them and score from cutback attempts. In fact, only a few teams have faced more cutback shots than United this season. It's a weakness that Spurs could exploit. On the other hand, Tottenham Hotspur, led by Angie Postacogla, excels at scoring cutback goals. Their system pushes their full-backs forward, creating space for their wingers and midfielders to exploit. They have been dangerous in possession and have scored a significant number of goals from cutbacks this season. It's a strategy that has worked well for them. So, the big question is, can Spurs take advantage of United's vulnerability to cutback goals? And can United find a way to stop them? This could be a decisive factor in determining the outcome of the game. But why has United struggled with conceding cutbacks this season? Well, injuries have played a part, with 10 different centre-back pairings used already. But there are also deeper structural issues with Ten Hag's tactical approach. Even with a fully fit squad, United would still be vulnerable to cutback goals. Their defensive style and pressing attempts have been inconsistent, leaving them exposed to counter-attacks. On the other hand, Spurs' system has been effective in creating opportunities for cutback goals. Postacogler's emphasis on fluidity and positional freedom has allowed his team to create space and exploit it. They have quick wingers and a strong presence in the box, making them a threat from cutbacks. So, how can Ten Hag limit Spurs' cutback attempts in the upcoming match? Well, one strategy could be to employ a higher defensive line and put pressure on Spurs' attempts to build from the back. It's a plan that has worked in the past, but Ten Hag will need his players to adapt and execute it effectively. In the end, it's a clash of styles that could make for an entertaining and intriguing game. Will United be able to shore up their defence and prevent Spurs from scoring cutback goals? Or will Spurs continue their success in this area and come out on top? We'll have to wait and see. That's all for today's update. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more football news and analysis. And don't forget to tune in for the Manchester United vs Tottenham Hotspur match this weekend. It's bound to be a thrilling encounter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.